Welcome to our first YouTube video on uh, Citrus Peat. You're on YouTube, we're on Instagram. That's citrus.peat on Instagram. We're also on Facebook, Citrus Peat Florida. I do believe that's us. We're also on Twitter, Citrus Peat Florida. All those things there. So our first video that we're doing is on growing blueberries. Um, last year, 2019, was my first attempt at growing blueberries. And um, with a few uh, tips that I found on YouTube, um, I was able to grow four blueberry plants and have at least um, a pound and a half of blueberries this past season. So I'm going to um, show you how I did it and the elements that I used um, to get that uh, get those blueberries done within a year. So now at kind of at the end of the season, I'm in zone um, 10A. Um, at the end of the, the blueberry season now, if you will, it's the best time to, to get the plants um, when they're young and start to grow them up. Last year I started in June, so we're about a month ahead um, now. So the big thing that you really want to do is have the elements. So the first element that I have is over here. It's, um, it's a container mix by Kellogg. Um, I use uh, peat moss. Now this is 40 pounds of uh, peat moss, well 44. Um, and the only reason we bought that is because it's $10 at Home Depot and we're going to be doing, um, let's see, six other uh, large plants. So I went ahead and purchased this. They do have a smaller bag that I used last year um, to just to keep the measurements correct. And that, that bag is smaller um, and it's about $5. Also, uh, pine bark. Last year I did not buy pine bark or didn't put pine bark in uh, my plants until almost September um, and um, and I was able to catch back up and get some good results uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and put pine bark in there now now I purchased this pine bark and this is mostly gonna go at the bottom for drainage um, and then I'm gonna mix some of that in but what I like to do with my pine bark is in my backyard I have two large pine trees and I like to get my own pine bark out of there um, it's uh, it's chippier a little drier and it seems to dissolve um, a lot quicker uh, from what I've noticed and in here you get these um, smaller smaller chips than you would normally get um, in the big bag um, of pine bark even if it's the smaller nuggets which these are the mini nuggets sometimes they're a little compact and that's just gonna take um, longer for it to dissolve we have the um, jewel blueberry um, plant that we're doing now we're Florida high bush so there is are a few differences there's like the the ribeye um, ones I think that's the way you say it but I grow the Florida high bush because I like my the tall um, growth uh, that they can uh, provide and um, from what I've read the 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 challenge of the high bush is a little bit they need more um, support more care on the high bush so I like kind of getting out in my garden um, on a daily basis so that's why I'm growing the high bush there this is the size um, uh, container we'll be using here uh, it's from Home Depot runs about $11 okay and I always put holes in the side and it usually has a little rain catcher on there but right at the rain catcher uh, line I put four holes and then I um, put four additional holes on the bottom there. This is a pot that we've used before. Uh, we're just going to recycle it up and, and use it uh, for this one. So those are the elements there. The next thing that you have to have is soil acidifier. In our area, this is the only one and the only size that I have found um, uh, for that. So we're going to uh, put a little bit of that in there. And then um, this is the fertilizer that I decided to use that gave me very good results. Now the thing about the uh, high bush that I've um, discovered is for the most part you have to fertilize them every three weeks. Okay, that's really what I discovered last year. I saw it on a YouTube video. My plants weren't looking good and uh, up until about September um, and then um, and late August, I really started hitting them hard with fertilizer. I went light at first, but then every three weeks I did about a, a half a cup um, around them. And then all of a sudden they started to come to life. Then as I went through uh, the winter season, um, they, uh, we still kept on that and we did our watering at like once a week. 
and it all just started to um, come together and come uh, January we started to have some really nice flowers and we got some results here in um, basically March and April we had some great uh, blueberries so uh, check us out on Instagram you'll see our, our proof of our blueberries on there and every day we were basically getting uh, a handful of blueberries um, and I was able to make some things with them so it was pretty cool all right so okay these are the blueberry plants that we started last year which are uh, have grown up they did well they started from they started very very small and we grew them up and this was the only blueberry plant we bought it at a um, at a show either at a, a plant show and I was just interested in it so we threw it together and then I started reading up on blueberries and realized you needed another blueberry to cross pollinate so we had uh, had an emerald and I didn't know what type I uh, purchased so it ended up being an emerald and it was a high bush so I read about that then I realized that the high bush was a good uh, style for my type of gardening that I like to be involved with uh, and take care of so we went out and found in our area um, a jewel so the, to cross pollinate an emerald jewel you have to find the high bush now when we went back we have a spring high bush this one that we're going to add to this um, group uh, this year um, so we're going to see how that cross pollinates in that but it's still a high bush and here's another uh, emerald and then we have a jewel here so those are the the four plants that we have we're adding three we're only showing you one how to put one together in this video but here's the the proof of how they're going to look uh, we can go back here and see that you know it's a little light green and we just need to get more fertilizer on that thing and uh and get it going because i'm a one-man show i'm gonna tell you um how i'm going to approach my new plants because i'm actually going to repot um, all of these in the coming weeks and tell you what i liked about what i did and the changes that i'm going to make okay so the first thing um, that i really didn't fully understand is just root development um, and what i did here was really short this pot so if you can see um, you know down in there you can see i have a lot of a lot of area that I could have brought this up a little bit higher to let these roots um, really go down um, into the pot itself a little further so this is a pretty big pot here so what I'm gonna do now is instead of having the plant low down here I'm actually gonna force it to bring it up about this high and then I'm gonna have the uh, pine bark on top of that and and I'm gonna do the fertilizer so I'm gonna bring this this plant up and all these plants are gonna be up about three or four um, inches so that's one of the things that I'm immediately gonna change because these are just uh, too far down in the pot they did well um, but they're just too far down into the pot okay let's talk about the pot here and so this first layer right here is gonna be on the inside all of the pine bark down at the bottom that's definitely for drainage that's one thing i did not do last year uh was was have a good drainage system uh well a great drainage system they, they, it had we had good drain uh drainage but just not really great so we're going to change that a little bit so we're going to bring the pine bark up here so that it drains and it gets some some air um circulate in there um between here and here is at least going to be the active zone of, of, of root growth. Um, so that's where my potting mix is going to be in. Uh, my peat moss is going to be in there. Um, my pine bark um, is going to be in there. All of that's going to be in there mixed up. I'm going to fill it all the way up to about right here. Put the plant in about in there. Now this bottom part is going to have of that mix is going to have um, a lot of um, just regular peat moss and the the mix this part up here is where i'm going to start add some soil acidifier um, and the uh the fertilizer and the reason is is that as the as we start putting water in all of this is going to start to seep down so i don't want to put too much of the uh, soil acidifier in the bottom because it's just going to seep down uh anyway over the year and it's going to fill all of that 
uh, that in. So we don't need to put so much down in this part of the pot when we're filling it up with soil, but up in this part here. And then up in here is gonna be our pine bark layer where we add uh, more soil acidifier and um, more of our, our fertilizer there. And we're good to go. Okay, let's talk pine bark. Okay, when you go and buy pine bark, it's gonna be big, clumpy, um, I believe it's basically used for um, or best for drainage um, and it's uh, on the top of the pot and then on the bottom of the pot. You can throw some in the middle, um, but you know, it's going to take longer to dissolve because it's mostly these bigger chunks. What I like is when you can go on our tree in the backyard and just pull the pine bark off itself. As you can see it's thinner, it's crispier, um, it's got a nice like dry crunch to it. As soon as the water starts hitting that, that's gonna be dissolving uh, perfectly. So if you have a pine tree um, that you can like kind of harvest pine bark off of, just get you a little uh, a paint scraper, um, like, a, like a five inch wide metal one. Uh, make sure you wear some uh, gloves and some goggles. That stuff will start flying and then just start to chip it off and you can actually smell um, the difference in the two types of pine bark. So you'll get one thick one in there every once in a while, but the rest of this, you'll have some really nice dust um, in, in here. And that's really what you want in that mix. It's these little, these little dusty parts here. They'll break down so fast and they'll get that soil pH down um, better, than, uh, better than anything. You won't have to use so much acidifier um, in there. So this is what I'm gonna put in the middle. Also in this, I've been um, adding coffee grounds to this. Didn't do that last year, read a little bit about it, but I'm gonna be doing a coffee ground um, and, um, uh, and pine bark mix. It's down in there somewhere um, that we're gonna be adding uh, directly to this um, here. And the biggest thing about that is just really just to add an additional uh, element um, to uh, to the blueberry soil and see uh, what happens. It's really hard to collect um, coffee grounds if you don't go out and get them from your local coffee shop or something like that. Uh, so it takes a while uh, to do that. But we're going to go ahead and try it. We have one other bucket um, over there, but we're going to be using this one today. So that's my uh, thought process and, and what I believe on the, on the differences in the pine bark. Um, if you can harvest it off a tree, it's just better um, uh, that way if you can. All right, I forgot to talk about measurements. So um, I did about a half a, a, a bag of the potting mix. And then I did about, yeah, you can see the bucket over there. I did about a half. Um, you can do almost two thirds of the bucket of um, the, the peat moss there. And then I uh, mixed all that up. This is what you have here with that. Um, <clears throat> so half of a bucket, you know, kind of fills, half a bag, sorry, kind of fills it up to here. And then the rest will fill in, but it's gonna sink down. And then we're gonna add um, a half a bucket of, almost half a bucket of our, our uh, harvested um, uh, pine bark, okay? and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, the last part um, of, the, of the mix is going to be uh, your soil acidifier. You're gonna be using that throughout the year. Um, again, I use a, a half a cup each time that I do it, um, that I add it on there. I add it onto the top after I get it all put together. Um, and then I do a half a, a cup of the fertilizer there. I'm really not brand loyal. This is just what was available at my Home Depot that matched to what I was doing. Um, you could probably go to Lowe's and find something different. You can uh, go to your local um, nursery and then they'll have something different also. But Home Depot is really convenient for me. Um, it's right around the corner. We have like four or five that are easy for me to access. Um, so I just uh, went with this in this direction. So just find these things here, uh, these elements. And again, if you're doing high bush, from what I understand and my experience, you're going to pretty much feed them as much as you're feeding like lemon trees and stuff like that. And, and since I'm out here anyways, uh, I, I just decided the high bush was actually gonna be the best uh, for the type of uh, gardening rhythm that I have. So these are the two things you're definitely gonna need along with your pine bark there. Uh, and you put those things together and within a year, like I've said before, you should be having some nice blueberries. We are all 
Okay, here we are all finished. Let's take a look. All right, so the top of the plant is uh, down in there. So a couple of inches of the soil mix on top of the plant. It's going to be perfect. Good landing spot for it there. And then we're going to put the, uh, the pine bark on top of here and we'll be good to go. All right, here's our blueberry plant completed in the pot. The pot itself is uh, 17 inches high. At the top, it's wide about 22 uh, inches. And at the bottom, I think it's somewhere in the uh, 15, 16 range. Uh, but this is a nice pot uh, for this plant to grow. Um, with the final part, the pine bark on top uh, there. And then uh, this will compact a little bit, but I'll add more pine bark. Um, but before I add the final pine bark, what I'll do is add um, our fertilizer and our acidifier. So it'll take a couple weeks uh, for it to compact down uh, fully. Then I'll add the, the acidifier, um, the first uh, acidifier and the first uh, fertilizer at that point in time. And then on top of that, I'll add pine bark and this is ready to go. So to give you a comparison look, see, we want these higher, but this is exactly perfect where we want to grow. So we should get great results out of this. Again, I'm Citrus Pete here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, citrus.pete. And you can ask me any questions um, that you may have incur or uh, share any of your uh, experiences with this. But this is our container blueberry and we're gonna let this ride for the next year and anticipate great blueberries come 2021.